Okay, what we're talking about is... Um, let me go to my Facebook. Let me go to my Facebook and I'm going to speak. I'm going to try and do my best to uh, talk as normal as possible. Okay, um, so I need to emphasize this. Uh, do you see these seven lands, the seven continents in the earth? Ashalam alaikum berakalion shalom ashua. In Ruach HaKodesh betokam. In Atim Tia beti melohim. In Bashem Yeshua HaMashiach Gualenu. Yahweh Yahweh Sikinu Ruach HaKodesh Elohinu. In Bidamo Yeshua HaMashiach Basharo Lechem Chaim Ishamayim. Maim Chaim Ishamayim. In Tahir Shafak Min Sado Basharo. Ashni Etz. La Nes Melek Ko Yahudi Mishaya Ar Yerushalayim Ami Yerusha Shalem Hadasha Makot Aloha Bashamayim and Makot Aloha Bashamaya and Blessed are in Sheba Kahal Basha Sheba Kahal and Bisheba Adama Ze Aret Aret Ze and these are the seven churches and shut up and these are the seven churches. These are seven churches of God. Uh, Paul, I know the Bible talks about Paul has, and Paul had Romans, Corinthians. Shh. Paul had Romans, Corinthians, and he had Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, uh, Thessalonians, Colossians, and um, and then there's um, if we go to Revelation. If we go to Revelation and we get some more, and so that's cool, and that's awesome. Um, but updating the prophecy, I just updated the prophecy. So obviously, America is in the church, right? Obviously, there's Jews here, obviously, there's born again Christians and Christians here, and many believers. So, this, this is not updated, right? Right. This was 2,000 years ago. And even the seven churches of Paul the Apostle was 7,000 years ago. I mean, 2,000 years ago. So this was 2,000 years ago. And the churches and the Paul was writing to was 2,000 years ago. And today, and today we have this. This is what we have today. Okay. We have... This is the church. This is Israel. Ezekiel 30. <laughs> so Ezekiel 34. Okay. Uh, this is Israel and this is the church. The seven churches. Okay. So bless it. What do we do with the church, brothers and sisters? So what do we do with it? What do we do with ourselves? We edify it. The Bible says to encourage one another. As today, as long as it is called today, the Bible says to build each other up. To love one another, the Bible says to um, to bless each other, okay, and blessing Shalom Yeshua, and just look at the letters, just look at the greetings, just look at the greetings of the Bible when they greeted each other, and Shalom Yeshua, Ashalom Aleikum, Berakalion, and a complete your soul in God, and Bashem, and Bashem, Bashem Yahweh Yeshua, Ruach Hakodesh, Shalom, right, Ashalom Aleikum. I complete you. So let's go look at that word. Okay, let's go look at. Let's type in shalom and let's look at it. And let's, what is it? What are we saying when we do this? What are we saying when we do this? We're, we're speaking into souls. We're speaking. Uh, it's not, it's not hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? No, Ashalom Ashalom Aleikum, Ashalom Aleikum, and Bashem Yahweh Yeshua Ruach Hakodesh Eloah. 
That's what it means. I complete you. Ruh HaKodesh. Beit in Beitika Eloheka. You are your house is now a temple of God because I say so. It's a baptism. <gasps> it's a baptism of the Holy Spirit. Ashalam Aleikum. Bashem Yahawa Yeshua Ruh HaKodesh Loa. Ashalam Aleikum Yisrael Ad in Beshepa Dama Adet Ze in Atem Shebakaha. Adonai Dirana Malek Shalom Yeshua. Yahweh Yahweh Sikinu Yeshua HaMashiach Gwali Nuru HaKodesh Elohinu Okay, rule it. I rule it in the form of blessing. I rule it in the form of blessing and I bless it and bless it and bless it in the name of the Lord of love and salvation and he is our righteous vindicator. He is our righteousness and he is our savior and he is um, our redeemer who who bought us back from sin, death, and shame. He bought us back from hell or the grave. He is our Holy Spirit wind. He is the presence within us. And we are in God. And we are in God. And God is in us. You could breathe. You can literally breathe it in. You can literally breathe in God. Because you're in God. And God is in us. Do you believe this? Yes, it's true. It's impossible. It's impossible for you to exist outside of God. Okay? It's not possible. Okay? Even the Bible says that the universe, at least he wears it. At the least, you're you're on Elohim. At the least, you're on him. And at the least, the Ruach HaKodesh Alekem. Okay? In Me'at Katan, Me'at Katan, Atem Tishkon be Allah Eloa. Okay. Allah Eloa in, in his own cloak. Let me see that. And you're you're on the cloak of God. Okay. At the least, at the least, you're on the cloak of God, okay? So that's what you're in God. Uh, as a cloak. I just, I just want to see, yeah, this one. No, not this one. old garment okay um let's just let me just take a word i'll just prophesy a word in the the meat pachat and so at the least or uh, the adarat you're on the you're on the meat pachat you're on the adarat of eloa elohim you're with word you're with me and so you're in glory so you're in glory so you see so this is what I was talking about and so at the least you're on the Adarat Aloha Atem Tishkon Allah Adarat Aloha and and at, Atem um, Puak uh, Tipa and you could breathe and you could breathe it and you could breathe the Holy Spirit now fuck and pull up So you're, we are, and you guys are, 
uh, at the least, I'm not saying you are at the least, but I'm saying you should know, you should know that you're on God and there's no way to exist outside of God. There's no, there's no way to exist outside of God is not nothing. <laughs> is outside of God is outer darkness, and we're not in outer darkness. So you could, uh, and so Atim Tishkon Allah in Adarat's law in Atim Tia Puak in Ruach Hakodesh Puak Ruach. You could breathe it in, you could breathe in God, and you can receive God. And do you believe? Yes. So, this is what uh, I was, tr uh, I don't know if I was talking about it yesterday, but um, it has to do with faith. It has to do with faith, it has to do with the believing of faith. And that's why they attack the faith, they attack you guys, but um, that's where I come in. And for hip hop, R and B, pop, rock and roll, holy tree, for the nations, for the slaves, for the prisoners, and for for the whole sh Sheba Kahal Adama, Adam, Adam, Asha, and Tehina. T, you know, saying T, yeah. I offer prayers and I do this for you guys. Okay, I do it for you guys. I do it for the whole world who is not able. For those who are being tortured or zapped, controlled, heavily controlled, okay? Because they're trying to get a control of me, okay? And they're trying to take control. I know what they're doing to everybody. And I know how they want to surround you with noises. I know how they want to use the alchemy. They know how to use chemicals. They know how to surround you with mob you. Especially if you're... Uh, so you're, let's say you're, you're God's anointed singer. You're God's anointed rapper. You're God's anointed model. Or your your um your God's anointed holy eyes and guarding candles, and so somebody somewhere has a council of wickedness who has devised a plan and plotted to drag other people down to hell with them. Okay, and what we're doing today is we're what I did today was refortify even more, and so we're in Nehemiah six. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to read it, but just know that the wall is built, the churches are fortified, the lands are fortified, and I'm still blowing the Puak Ruach HaKodesh into the world. And faith, okay, it's like this. Um, who does he think he is? Who does he think he is? Who does, I'm I'm obedient servant. Somebody's got to do it. I have to do it in faith. I have to do it in faith. It's not who do I think I am. It's what I know I have to do because no one, every, no one else is doing it. People are doing. People are forced to do negativity. People are forced to speak death. People are forced to play with letters. People are being forced to not do it. I have to do it for one. I have to do it for two. I believe I could do it, and therefore I can do it. Nothing is impossible with God. Luke one. Blessed is he and she who believes there shall be a fulfillment of the words. So if you go to uh, Luke 1, around 37:45, and uh, you can see this is where my whole promise and the whole promise uh, and just in general, let's just take it in general, okay? Just in general for, uh, it's not about who does he think he is, it's about Okay, it's Luke one thirty seven, concerning the birthing of the virgin, uh, giving birth to Jesus. Who do you think you are, Virgin Mary? God bless your soul. Uh, but the, today they will say, who do you think you are to say oh, that you're praying about the Holy Spirit? Mary, 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 Mary. And the unbelievers are going to hound her. The unbelievers hound God's wise virgins today. All the wise virgins of Mayanasha, Aferika, all the wise virgins of Harmenia, all the ancient Americans got hounded, uh, all of uh, Israel girls got hounded, Judah girls in America, every single girl from every single tribe, the mob has made up excuses to hound God's virgin daughters and to say you're nothing and to say who do you think you are, you're nothing, even in the movie uh, we saw uh, last night, Rambo Part 5, 
and with the cartels and taking the girls and and by the way don't become racist by the movie okay that's another point don't become racist by movies uh, every nation's involved in this uh, there's Judas's everywhere and but who do you think you are and they say the girls are nothing as a guy says as a guy the bad guy thinks he's a king in the movie and he he says that he he doesn't consider them anything okay but God says but the Bible says something else the Bible says God's daughters not Elohim Adam Noah Genesis 6 Yeledu Lahim born again and Bene Elohim Yalad Ad born again sons and daughters born again ready prepared for the ark of salvation for when God comes for nothing is impossible with God Ain Dabar Lo Dabar Giye Yako Im Elohim Okay Ki Ki Lo Dabar Giye Lo Yako Im Elohim Ki I'll just say Ain Ain Dabar Yiye Lo Yako Im Elohim I'll just say Um Nothing with God, uh, everything with God is possible. It, let's say about Sad, okay? Let's say it a different way. Ain ye ye bat sad im Elohim. Okay. And call the bar ya call im Elohim. Everything is possible with God, and nothing is impossible with God. Okay. Ki Ki ko da bard Ye ye ya ko im Elohim Ki Ain Ain basar Ain basar or Ain basar im Elohim Is that that's kind of weird too, huh? Uh, nothing is impossible with God. That makes sense. Nothing is impossible with God. Everything is possible with God. Okay, and for those who, for us, for, for us who are in God's word and humble servants, and not two-faced, we're not two-faced, we're not yin-yang, we're not yin-yang, we're not doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing, I'm not going to bless you and then curse you while you're sleeping. Okay. I'm not going to bless you and curse you while you're sleeping. I'm always going to bless you. Okay. All right. Luke 1 37. Okay, so, uh, yes, Babylon, uh, curse, curse it, curse Babylon, curse the curse, I curse the curse of Babylon. I, uh, I break the curse of Babylon, I curse and break the curse of Babylon of, of its, uh, negativity, okay? Blessing, because Babylon is to curse, okay? And God is to bless it. So, uh, who wins? Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess who wins in the end. Brothers and sisters, people in the seven churches of the seven lands of the earth. Guess who wins in the end? Moshalem, Atim Tada, Mi Gabet, Mi Gabet, and Yeshua Allah, Moshinu. Okay. Maor, Maor, Maonas. Guess who wins? Atim Tachshab Atim Tachshab Mi Yigaber In Ketz Ketz Aretz In Yeshua HaMashiach Nasaret In Yahweh Yehoah In Yahweh's Adas Atim Tachshab Mi Yigaber Ketz Aretz Ze Yeshua HaMashiach Yahweh Yehoah Sikinu Kualinu Moshiach 
Ruha Kodesh Eloha. Elo. E ka katholika Roma Beitali. Atem Takshob mi yegabed kets aret ze. Jesus Christ Jesus. Yeshua Mashiach from Yisrael. Born in Bethlehem from the Virgin Mariam. Berakaliom Mariam. Bless it. Bless it. Yeah, bless. The wise virgin chosen by God. Bachat. Bachar betena e hakma betula maria im yo akala yosa. Okay, in Yalad Yeled Benha Elohim, Sheha Elohim, Bar Elohim, Yeshua Mashiach, Lanu. She gave birth to us for us, the Savior. Yes, so this this is we are with them, we win. Okay, we don't we are on the winning team. Um, and this is it, Luke 1, speaking of Virgin Mary and his cousin John the Baptist, something like six months older, in the womb of Elizabeth, and baptized in the Holy Spirit presence, like Alexis Abiana came out, uh, she came out, birthed in the Holy Spirit from me, from my heart to her heart, it went in, and uh, praise God is possible, yes, and this is what, this is what takes us into second heavens, as rest restoration period is God is over abounding the enemy in blessing God is going to overbound sin death and shame where sin death and shame are the beast of Satan abounded my grace and favor shall overabound over that and I'm going to use Adam my servant to accomplish this okay and so we're going to accomplish uh, children um, God, God sons and God daughters, worshippers, and ourselves even, ourselves are even going to be God sons and God daughters, worshippers, because that's where the greatness begins. The greatness begins in worship, uh, who in worshiping God of who He is. Who is He? John three sixteen. Ki ki Eloheinu Yahava Abenu. Uh, Ahab ze olam amo gadol e hu sholiach beno Yeshua Hamashiach e dodi yachid beno Yeshua Hamashiach lehoosham Elohim our God our Father in heaven He is love and He He is love and He He loved His people on the earth and He loved his people in this world so much that he sent his one and only beloved son and come down and save us okay okay so uh, this is the message that the world needs to hear and the, the world needs to be reminded there needs to be a reminder every day and the world needs to be reminded every day with reminders who God is God is love and they need to be reminded with reminders every day what he has done. What has God done for us? Because um, it's a it's a it's a eternal gift. It's a gift that keeps on giving. It's not like it, no one could say nobody could say that it's it's over and done with. No one could say that this is that it's old news. This is new news every day. This is New news every day. This is our daily news that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, born in Bethlehem, bread of life from heaven and waters of life, and payment for sins, and paid the punishment, and he came down from heaven. And every day we can rejoice and make glad and be merry in this and celebrate this every single day. We, could, we need to celebrate this every single day as Christmas Day. Because every day is a day that you can say, I'm saved. Every day is a day that you can say, I'm safe. I'm saved. Oh, praise God. I got car insurance. Oh, hallelujah. I got life insurance. Oh, yes. I got house insurance on my temple. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. I got insurance on my soul. You know, that's a good feeling. That's a very, that's the greatest feeling. And God loves me. I'm not an enemy of God. I'm a friend of God. And I'm his favorite son. And I'm gonna go meet him. I'm gonna go meet him. I'm gonna go see him, and I'm gonna know him. I'm gonna know my God. I'm gonna know my Maker, my Creator. 
I'm gonna make I'm gonna know my potter who made me from the clay. I'm gonna know God, the Spirit of God, the breath of God who breathed life into me. I'm gonna get to know the inner places of God, and He's gonna dwell in me. He's gonna lead me out to pastures. Oh shoot. He's gonna lead me out to pastures. What the let's go get it. He's gonna lead us out to pastures. Shout out to the pastors. Um, uh, this this video also need to say um, churches, churches, churches. Get ready for Jesus. Get ready for Jesus, and you will never see the synagogue of Satan ever again. Psalm twenty three two. Psalm 23. I'll get ready. Uh, we're going to do. We're going to do. Um, churches, churches, churches. The church has grown to many, many nations. Let's open it. A psalm of prophecy of the king of Israel, David, and the king of Israel of 3,000 years ago. Uh, whoever honked, you're going to burn in hell. Uh, you're not King David here. God bless the pastors. Okay, bless the pastors and pastors, churches. God bless you. And God bless you, everyone seeking God, even Mormon, Catholic, and uh, Jehovah's Witness, and all the nominations of Christian. God bless you and get ready, Jesus. Get ready. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness and vindication in his name for his name's sake. Okay. For his name's sake. Okay. So you see the difference? Yes, you do. Who do we glorify? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who is the world? Who, who does Babylon glorify for you to get your money so you can go get paid and for you can to live? They make you worship uh, Satan the dragon, the Asian dragon. They make you worship a bunch of other people. But we stick to this. We stick to Psalm 23. Right, church? It's church. This is this is one of the church's favorite, favorite Psalm 23. Uh, he leads me in the path of righteousness and vindication for his name's sake. Because his name is what? Who is he? John 3.16. Eloheinu Yahaba. Okay. And, and la, uh, ze ma'an hu sholiach dodi yahid Yeshua HaMoshiach. So shemo Yahaba Yeshua ze Torah. Torah Yahaba Yeshua. If you want to ever see that, just go to my Facebook, type in uh, Torah, Torah, Yahweh, uh, Yeshua, and you'll see. You want to see it? That's the law. Uh, I think it's under Torah, Tepka. I'll show you real quick. Uh, this is his. This is the law of God. Okay. So for those against it. For those against, for those against salvation, uh, guess what? Uh, they're antichrist. For those against you coming to me, for those who are against you coming to me in heaven, those are antichrist. I should just go to my Facebook, but. This one. Okay. 
So you see this. One nineteen, one seventy four, Psalm forty four, one, one nineteen, one seventy four. Okay, do you see this? Torah, Yahweh, Yeshua. Okay, so this is the this is the law of love and salvation. And what are, what does the commandment say? The commandment says, "You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself." So that's the law. In the Psalm of Prophecy, Tehila Nebua. Mea Ashar Tesh e Mea Sheba Arba Torah Yahaba Yeshua. This is the law of God. Okay. So for those against, for the Babylonians against this Psalm 23, and for those against salvation, for those against salvation, you already know what that is. That's Satan. That's Antichrist. And for those who want to, uh, uh, there it's defeated. Okay, it's defeated. It's defeated. And the beast is dead. The beast is defeated. And let me take you to that real quick. So I had a vision this morning, another one. Uh, so it seems like every for the last couple of days I've been seeing stuff um, in dream. I mean dreaming. I've been dreaming and envisioning. And so I was at top of a hill. I was at the top of the hill with uh, Akim and Bailey. Okay, so that represents everybody though. Akim and Bailey represents all the queens, all God's daughters. In the church, also the queen represents the church. Revelation twelve, it's the church woman wears a crown. Is crowned. Okay, the church gets crowned with God. Right, you're gonna rule and reign in the thousand years. Uh, everyone receives crowns. So it not only represents queen of the king, but also she represents uh, the church. Even though there's captivity going on, so I'm at the top of this mountain, top of this hill, and I see, I see the. I see the beast. <laughs> I see the beast uh, descending, tumbling down. Oh, we threw we threw it down. Okay, we threw the beast and the dragon down the mountain, and he goes into the lake of fire. Okay, and then we just um, we were standing there all together. Okay, on top of the mountain of God. And so that's what it is. This is reality, brothers and sisters. So uh, for the world to hear, for the world to know, and for the world to be reminded with reminders, what is reality? It's spirituality. Okay. The gates of hell shall not prevail. We are blessed forever. We are in God's promise. We are in God's promise. Okay. God guards us. God keeps us. John 10, in John chapter 10, the, the great shepherd, okay, I'm just a good shepherd. He's the great shepherd, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Elohim. He holds all of us. We're, we're the apple of God's eye. We're in his heart. We're in his eyes. He keeps his eyes upon us. His, his eyes are always scanning the earth. And not one second, not one second is God in heaven and the kingdom not watching us. Not one second goes by where God is not with his eyes upon us there's not one second we ever let we ever leave god's eye we are his apple we are his fruit we are his offering we are his ties we are his children we are his spirit he breathes spirit into us we are his children he loves us forever he's unconditionally loving us he's not he's not a flip-flopper god is not love and hate for his children okay God is not love and hate for us. He doesn't flip-flop. He doesn't do what the Babylonian beast does, where, where, they, where they do something nice and then hate you and do some abuse. God doesn't do that. Okay? God is love, 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 love. 
and if love grows, he, he's going to hug you and squeeze you and kiss you, and he's going to keep you tight by his side. God is not bipolar like the beast. They're bipolar, they're satanic, they're evil, they abuse, and they create insecurity in the children, and that is not God, that's antichrist against God. God loves you every second of the day. He does not change. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is Yahaba, Le Beno, Banoteloa. Yahaba Yeshua, call your mean. Okay, Kimi, call your mean. God loves you every day. We don't listen to no unbelieving nations. We don't listen to Hashatan Goim, nobody. We listen to the Spirit of God and what God says and what God did for us. That God loves us forever. Okay? No flip-flopping. There's no flip-flopping with God. That does not exist. This is Babylonian satanic to build and mold and to change mind control, mindset, attitudes, and to change your behavior patterns. Uh, curse it. No. We're not doing that. We're not changing. We're, we're doing this. God loves you every second of the day. God loves us every second of the day. God does not change. Okay? As they try to use their alchemy and chemicals and say, Oh, and curse every daughter of God. And they want to curse daughters of God against us. And curse the church against us. All these goyim unbelievers are trying to always curse. They're trying to curse Armenia. They're trying to curse red-haired Judah. They're trying to curse their own babies. They're trying to curse their own babe, grandbabies. They're trying to curse every single body. No. There's no curse for us. We are loved by God. Heaven and God watches us. His eyes are upon us. Every second of every single day, He loves us. Not one second goes by where God doesn't love you. Count the seconds. God loves me. God loves you. 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 Every day. Every second of every day. He's not a flip-flopper. God is not a flip-flopper. Man is a flip-flopper. The beast is a flip-flopper. Yin-yang. Black and white are flip-floppers. They're flip-floppers. They'll abuse you and then kiss you. They'll kiss you and then smack you or something. They're a flip-flopper bipolar Satanist. God is not a Satanist. God is love. God is Yahweh, Yeshua, and Savior. He's not going to slap you. God's not going to kick you, punch you. God's not going to smelt you. God's not going to threaten you or your children. God's not going to do this to you. Okay? God loves us every second of every single day. So a reminder for the seven churches of the seven lands of the earth. God loves you every second of every day. He, God is not a flip-flopper. The beast is a, this is just pure antichrist. He doesn't love you at all. Okay, they're trying to destroy. Uh, curse the beast is dead. So this is what I see. Uh, that it's already done. The beast of flip-floppers, the beast of those who bring abuse and insecurity. And those who bring abuse and insecurity to us and to make us scared and voodoo and alchemy, they're going down. Okay, They're going to be cast down the mountain of Kehar Bihar and the mountain of Yahahad Yahoah. Cast down, rejected Nephilim forever. Those who want to curse Mayanasha, cast down. Those who want to curse Afredika Perim, I am fruitful cast down. Those who want to curse um, Hadamina, Kehat, cast down. Those who want to curse Yisrael, Red Hill Judah, cast down. Those who want to curse um, ancient America, cast down. Those who want to curse Moshalem Araba, cast down. Okay, and, and that means to the pit of hell. Okay, cast down. We cast down the cursors. We cast down those who curse the children. We cast down those who scare us, those who curse us, those who scare us, those who plot against us, those who want, those who wish to divide the house of God. We are Yeshua, Red Hair Judah. We are ancient America. We are Yosef, Mayanasha, Perima, Ferika. We are Araba. We are Harminia. Okay? Those who wish to divide the house of God. Uh, the house of God will not be divided. 
לא פרה ביתי מאלוהי, קדם אמר כך, אמרו שלם, ערבה ישוע אללה, אשרם עליכם. חרמינה, לא פרה, מושלם, ערבה, לא פרה, אוהבים, ישוע אללה, מיינשה, פרים, יוסף, לא פרה, אדמני יהודי, לא פרה, אוקיי? לא פרה קדם אמריקה, לא פרה יוסף, לא פרה ארמניה, לא פרה ערבה, לא פרה אדמני יהודי, לא פרה קדם אמריקה, לא פרה יוסף, לא פרה ערבה, לא פרה לא פרר הרמיניה, לא פרר אדמני יהודי, יש לה יעד בית אל, ביתים אלוהים, כי הוא לא מדבר עם מישהו אחר. אוקיי. אז זהו, זהו, down and cast down the mountain Thrown down and cast down the mountain. Okay. And um. And I was left standing as king at my queen's. Okay. So that's that's how that's gonna go. I am left standing as king Malak Adonai Duradon Shalom Yeshua of Yisrael Ar Yerushalayim Ami Yerusha Shalom Chadasha and Kohelet Sheba Kahab Sheba Adama Aret Zeh As King Solomon wrote Ecclesiastes I write Kohelet and I uh, I collect words and make sermons and prophesy okay let's get back to uh, so that's update vision that um, when you see when you see the worship when you see the worship of the dragon and Satan uh, of Japan or China or any Asian dragon when you see the worship of the serpent dragons and Whatever you want to call it, and it doesn't matter, uh, it is what it is by definition. But whatever you want to call it, and when you see the worship of this, just know it's only for a season, it's temporary. That's the point, okay? So when you see this, when you see this, when you see, when you see the beast and the dragon, when you see Satan and the beast, when you see black and white exalt, whatever you see, Jesus says, whatever is exalted amongst mankind, Whatever mankind is exalting in the earth, it is an abomination to God and before the eyes of God. It's an abomination. Okay. So when you see this, 
over the kingdoms of the earth know that it's this. It's seasonal, it's temporary, and it's going down the mountain and it will not rule. It will not rule because I rule and God rules. Okay. And they, they don't rule uh Ganet. I rule it. I bought it. I got it. I married it and forever. And so uh, they stole my identity. They're trying to use my name. Alright, but but they can't use it because they use Satan's name. And so the girls the girls already manifested golden green eyes, the serpent, the Japanese dragon, they already manifested false gods and thanks thanks to the uh, thanks to the girls to manifest it and that what what the men represent is Satan okay so um, that is why that's that's a reason why um, that's why I'm here okay I'm here to bless it I'm here to I I was here to bring it back in the year of Jubilee um, Leviticus Leviticus 25:10 in the year of Jubilee I'm here to return it to God Hosea 1 and 2 I'm here to marry it back to God I'm here because they they led them astray from Jehovah Hosea 1 I'm here Leviticus 25 10 in the year of Jubilee to jubilate and to return it into freedom okay because of this so that's why I'm here okay and it's not for it's a work uh, like I was saying earlier um, it's a work that is being done by a professional I'm certified I am authorized I am anointed I am chosen and commanded by God to do something and to prophesy it so I prophesy and um, somebody else is not able to build your house somebody else cannot build your house somebody else cannot build your car I do that okay I built I build cars I build houses for a living that's what I do for God in the heavens okay and more than that so it ha it's like somebody if somebody says somebody comes to you and says uh, they want to do this job but they can't do it somebody has come to you and they said they can do this job but they cannot do it but they swear up and down they swear up and down left and right side to side they swear that they could do the job but they don't know how to do it they don't have the prophecy they don't have the word they don't have the certificate they're not authorized anointed they're not certified they don't have the anointing and they're not chosen by God to do this okay so so you need a professional if you ever had somebody have you ever had a dent in your car and somebody swore up and down side to side left and right I'm gonna fix your dent I'm gonna fix the dent in your car and it's a wreck you can see Bondo it's all crooked it's all flat and your gloss and your paint is gloss and your car looks trash it's like the dent was better the dent the dent was better than when they touched it you see what I'm saying so that's what happens when other people touch it it gets uglier it gets worse so you need a professional person to come in and kadash it you need a professional to come in you need Adam Moshe Acharon Dururon Bachad Bachid Elohim to Derod Kadash Derodon okay you need me to come and do this okay and so I did it for Yoshebel or for Yoshebeha Yobel and Tia Lakim E Kadash Shana Hamashim Shana and Keratim Derod Be Aretz Bet Aretz Shenaim Shamaim Shelashim Shamaim Lako Yoshebeha Yobel He Tia Lakim Weshatim Ish El Elohim Ahusa We Ish El Mishpacha and Teshubu. Okay. So I brought you back from Satan. Okay. I brought you back from Satan. I brought the nations back from Satan. I slayed the, the I battered Moab. I I slayed the dragon. Uh the beast I cut open wide the beast. I took out the souls, Ezekiel eighteen, Gazelle, I rob it. Ezekiel eighteen. They can no longer say these souls are mine. 
every soul is now mine. Ben Adam, Darom Hatef Nabi, Melek Akin, Adonai Duradon, it's all mine. I kadash it, I set it free, I made it holy, sanctified for God's use. And you know what this means? Do you know what kadash means? Let's look at it. Set apart. Definition up top. First of all, it's set apart for God, not for Satan. If you led them to Satan, you're uh, trash, you're going to hell. If you led God's children to Satan, you're trash, you're going to hell. And better call on for those who don't know better. And for the world. Um, and for God's for God's uh, sexy holies. Okay, but for all those for all those wicked, 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 wicked people leading the children to hell. Okay. Okay, so uh, and God's beautiful daughters in this generation, God bless them. They're for the king. God's beautiful, sexy, holy daughters, holy, set apart, Kadash. Barshadik, Bardiya Kadet, and Barshadik, and Bardiya Kadashim, Adam Kadash Adakit. Alakakit, Adam Adonai Duranam, Melech Shalom Yeshua, Alakakit, and Benot Elohim, Adam Lakakit, Yahudi, okay, and Benot Elohim, and Kadash and Sadakit. Barshadik, I Barshadik it, and I Kadash it, I set it apart for God, okay. Sanctified for God's use, not for Satan. Okay. And that's why I'm that's what I'm doing here. And that's what I did. So it's done, it's done. So a future a vision of the future is uh the corruptors uh forcing God's sexy holy daughters in the world because they heard me <laughs> Because they say, oh, and I said, God made the sexiest daughters of this generation for the king. So guess who the black and white go after? Just take a while, guess. Just just guess who's worshiping Satan the most. Oh, just take a while, guess who's worshiping Satan the most. Oh, exactly. The most sexiest holy daughters of God that he created for the king. Oh, look, because they're targeted the most now. Because, because the beast is listening. The beast is listening to me, and they're saying, "Oh, this, oh, he's right, he's right. These are the sexiest women of six thousand years of existence. Yes, he's right. God did make them for him. Yes, he's right. Let's." They say they so they decided to go after them. They decided to go after them and seduce them even more, or force them, and blackmail them. Everything, well, everything under the sun you can imagine, they're gonna do it, as to do what. As to curse them, better call you Shalom Aleikum. Curse the curse, I break it. But as to do that, so they want, so they want to do that, right? So they say, if I can't have them, if I can't be king of them, then Adam can't either. That's this is the attitude of Satan. If I can't rule, I'm gonna go down into the nations and deceive the nations, right? Even when, even when Satan's released. Uh, Revelation 20 even when Satan's chained in for a thousand years and released and he goes down to deceive the nations some more if I can't rule them if I can't have them I'm just gonna drag them to hell with me right boy I tell you okay. boy I tell you boys and girls this is you know what I'm saying like all you gotta do is listen. All you gotta do is just listen to the things they say. If I can't have them, Adam can't have them. And I'm gonna corrupt them and I'm going to drag all the daughters of from babies all the way to the sexies. I'm gonna drag all God's daughters and we're gonna corrupt the daughters and we're gonna that's who's that? That's the Nephilim. That's exactly the Nephilim to take God's daughters. And corrupt them and to do wickedness and they say 
if I can't have them, then Adam can't have them. If I can't have them, then Adam can't have them. Right? That's what they say. And so who's that? Satan. That's Satan, the dragon. Okay? The serpent, the ancient serpent, Satan the dragon, his ill tentacle creatures, and uh, the hole in the floor. Okay, all those who want to rule over you and have you worship them, suck their sushi roll. They want you to suck their Japanese sushi roll. They want they want to whore around and make horrors. They want to whore everyone around to non kings and false gods and demons and devils of Satan. And they want to bring in they want to bring in the wickedness into your heart and mind. They want to corrupt your soul because if they can't have you, then Adam can't have her. If they can't have her, and then Adam Dudon can't have her. We're just going to corrupt them all the way down. Curse those words. Ashalom Aleikum Berakalion Shalom Yeshua. Okay, God knows what you're saying. Heaven hears it. I hear it. We know what's going on. We can see it. And it's jealousy and it's satanic. It's satanic all the way down to the core of your mind, to your thoughts, and even down to the center of your heart is wicked. And that's why I'm here. Because you're wicked. Because your plan is to, if I can't have them, if we can't have her, then Adam Dudon can't have her. And we're going to, you know how I break the curse. Ashalom Alaikum, Ben Akal, Yon Shalom Yeshua. Ben Adam Yeshua Hamashiach, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Okay. So, uh, that's Satan. Okay. And you can clearly see that. You can clearly see in Revelation 20, verse 7. Satan is thrown down into... Satan gets thrown down the mountain as the vision God gave me. And he allowed me to see a vision as I stand on top of the mountain with the Kehars. And we tumble down the beast and the dragon Satan. And he who deceived and forced the nations and blackmailed them and trapped them in the four corners of the earth. Okay. And who was thrown down into a, a lake of fire the beast of corruptors of God's daughters are thrown down to the lake of fire okay so God bless God bless God's anointed God bless God's chosen sexy holy God bless you God's daughters in seven lands of the earth and the church Okay, so, and these are the, this is the seven churches of God, and the eyes of God are upon you every second of every day. There's not one second that goes by that God is not watching us, and heaven is with us. Every second of every day, heaven and God's eyes are upon us, and they're on our side, okay? Heaven is on our side. So... Um, I want to, I wanted to uh, fortify and encourage the seven lands. This is God's church. This is the house of God in the seven churches in the seven lands. Okay. So let's go back to uh, Psalm 23. Though I walk, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear not the evil of Satan and the beast. Because, oh my God, we're so on point. What does it say? Oh my God, we're so on point, aren't we? Oh my God, heaven is with us. Oh my God, Elohim, Father, Son, Holy Spirit loves us. Yea, though I walk... Through the valley of the shadow of their death threats, I shall fear no evil of Satan the beast, because you, Elohim, are with me. You are with your church in the seven lands. Hallelujah. Yeshua, Allah, Shalom Aleikum, Moshalem, in Arab, Araba, in Palestine, in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran, in Yemen, in Lebanon, everybody. 
Shalom Aleichem Berakali on Shalom Yeshua, Yeshua Allah. Okay. Because you are with me, you are with us, your rod and your staff, they comfort us, they lead us, and they guide us, and his rod disciplines us. He, he gave us the teaching. He has prepared a table. This is a prophecy. It's on my Facebook. It should still be there. God has prepared a table before me in the presence of enemies, and he anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercies follow after me all the days of my life forever. I have nothing but the best, actually. I have nothing but the best of God's favor in my life. In all the days of my life, I shall dwell in all the houses of God, the Lord, forever. Okay. Uh, five. He, okay. Remember what I said when they manifest. When they when they come against holy eyes guarding candles. When they come against hip-hop R&B. When they come against the blessing. When they come against salvation. Guess what God is doing, brothers and sisters in church. When they come against those we bless and pray for when in church pray for them pray for Kadashin and pray for everybody and fortify each other everybody pray for everybody everybody bless everybody okay bless each other but guess what happens guess what God did by allowing the death threats guess what God did by allowing the death threats guess what he did he he says hostile Hostile, hostile. He's hostile against your family. That per he's hostile. That guy's an enemy. If they do death threats against you and your family, enemy. Okay. When they do death threats against your children, enemy. Marked. God has lined them up. Okay, on a table, as a battlefield. Okay. Psalm twenty-three five. For annihilation is already set in advance. The enemies are already uh, being led, being led by the nose, like, like it says. Okay. So. Um, hold on. Let me go get it. I think it's a. Uh, Okay. Ezekiel twenty nine. Okay. Uh, but I will put hooks in your jaw, cause the fish of the river to stick to the scale that will bring up out of the messy rivers. Let me see, this is it. Oh, maybe not. Let me see. Um, I think, yeah, then Ezekiel 38. I didn't think it was that. I didn't think it was 29. It has to be later on, around 38. Ezekiel 38, yeah, the prophecy. So there's something like this, okay? The, speaking of Gog, I'm speaking of Gog and Magog, okay, Revelation 20, what does it say? And Satan, the deceiver, it says Gog and Magog. See? Gog and Magog, Satan, the deceiver, okay? Satan, the deceiver, who wants worship or threatens people, okay? And those who threaten people, they're Satan's, okay? Gog Magog, so just look at the, look at the flow of the words, look at the connection, look at the pattern, okay? So you see Satan, Gog Magog, assembled against the church, Daniel, um, Daniel 11. Okay, assembling against the church. Ezekiel 38. Oh, there it is again. Ben Adam, set your face against Gog and Magog, and those heads, and prophesy against them, and say, Thus says the Lord God, 
I'm against you, Gog Magog, and but he puts hooks, and he allowed he allowed them to be coming against God's people and the salvation of the nations. Okay, Ezekiel 38, one and two, and so God has allowed. God has allowed to manifest to manifest the Satans and why he the body Yahweh Yahweh Yeshua Mashiach Ruach Hakodesh Eli Lamod Ben Adam Daron Hatef Nabi Melaka King Shalom Yeshua Panaka El Gog Aretz Hamagog Nashi Rosh Meshek. And Tabo and prophesy to Bah Hinabe Allah a Martako Amara Donai Hoashua Rohakodesh Eloa Hini Eleka Gog Nashi Rosh Mashek Tilba a Shobaptika when Natati Hahim be Hayaka be Hayaka where Hotseti a Otika. Oteka in art where art call Heleka Susim or Parasim Lebuse, a Miko Kolam Kaha, a Rab Sina, a Magid Topese Harabot Kolam. Okay, so those who are, um, in Paras in Ku. Okay, let's go down. Uh, Magin, Magin Koba. Okay, stop right there. And so, Ezekiel 38, going back to Psalm 23. Uh, Ezekiel 38, you can see that God is doing something. God is doing something, brothers and sisters. When the enemy manifests, when they come against God's anointed and Hebrews, when they come against Hebrews in hip hop, when they come against the Hebrews in R and B, when they come against the Hebrews in Holy Tree, when they come against the Hebrews in the clubs and the dancers, when they come against the Hebrews in the, every single neighborhood, when they come against the Hebrews in every city in the earth of God's earth. When they come against the cities and when they come against God's people in seven lands, they came against the church. They're against the church of God. As you can see, there was a word there. Isaiah, Ezekiel 38. Did you see the word? Let's go back, brothers and sisters. What word was here? It says, Kahal. Exactly. Is their company the synagogue of Satan? Kahal Hashatan El Kahal Sheba Adama Duradam. Adonai Yahweh Shuru Hakodesh Law. It's the comp it's the company of Satan against the company and church of God. Did you see that word? Sheba Kahal, the one we've been prophesying. Right there. That's how you know we're on track. God gives us the words. How do you know you're on track, brothers and sisters? Gog Magog. Okay. Gog Magog. Hashatan deceiving the nations. Going down, being cast into the lake of fire. Gog Magog. Hashatan. Follow the vision. The beast and the dragon, ancient serpent, Satan, and the beast going down. Uh, thrown and cast down the mountain from the church of God and from my queens and from the queens of mine and from the queens of Israel, holy Kadash set apart for goodness. They have been set apart. They have been more than set apart even before they were set apart. They were Kadomin Kadashin. They were already meant to be. Kadam, before time began, God put them here for such a day as this to be rescued, to be used for goodness. That this generation of God's daughters was put here for the last king of Israel 
for the best of the best to be birthed Holy Spirit babies. And so you can see that Satan and the mob of false gods and false kings are active and doing something. There's a, there's a synagogue of Satan. There's a synagogue of Satan working to deceive. Uh, never mind that. They're not going to deceive. Uh, there's a The synagogue of Satan was working to steal. And to steal it. To rob it. To snatch it. John chapter 10. As, as if it's possible. As if possible to deceive my elect. Uh, Matthew 24. As if possible to deceive the very elect. Matthew 24. I think I was in Evo C. Uh, elect. It's more so trying to snatch it. He's going to send his angels, his messengers from heaven to gather his elect chosen. Okay. He will send forth his armies of angels from heaven, not humans. Okay. Heavenly beings. He's going to send forth heavenly beings to gather his elect chosen for the four corners of the earth. Matthew 24, 31. Matthew 24, 24. False Christ, false gods, false prophets have arisen, did false signs and wonders to mislead and deceive, if possible, the very elect chosen. They're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to deceive us. Okay, they're trying to trick us, all right? Uh, the beast mob, the goyaks outside, the Judases outside. There's Judases outside honking a horn. They're trying to trick us, okay? To deceive us as who? Satan the dragon from Asia, trying to deceive us to sell our souls to a non-god, okay? Okay, yeah, so there it is right there. They're trying to snatch the chosen ones of God from the hands of the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, Elohim, and from the shepherd, myself, the door for the door, a shepherd, a good shepherd for the great shepherd. They're trying to snatch it, but it's dead. They're dead. Okay? There's no power. It's already, you know, the future. It's cast down the mountain forever. Revelation 20. <laughs> Revelation 20. Satan and those of Gog Magog, with the hook in the nose, they get thrown down into the lake of fire, the sea of lava, okay? Those who are trying to mislead the people, okay? And their synagogue of Satan, right there. Satan, kahal. Synagogue of Satan. Just, this is the words we're prophesying, and God gives it as we go along, brothers and sisters. Right there, kahal. The synagogue of Satan. Let's go to 30, verse 4. The synagogue of Satan is against the church of God. Okay, so God is good. As we walk in the Word, we discover that we are indeed following the trail of God. You can see that? We're indeed following the trail of God. Okay, the assembly, the church of God. The synagogue of Satan is against the synagogue of God. Okay, the, the congregation, the assembly. And they, they assembled themselves against salvation. Okay, so let's look at another word real quick. Just to put it together. Wait, hold on. I want to see something. Let's 
go this way. The assembly, the congregation. Let's go forward. There, Kohelet. Uh, this is so Malach Shalom and even the son of David Solomon in a preacher of Ecclesiastes Kohelet and myself the preacher in Ben Adam Darom Hatef Nabi Melech Akin Yehovah Sikinu and um, Shalom Shua and Yechesikia into Chasak Chasak Yisrael Im Dabaro Yehovah and to strengthen the people with words Kohelet is the preacher. Okay, so he's a collector of words. He forms sentences. And what do I do, brothers and sisters? And I form sentences. We form paragraphs. And brothers and sisters, students of all ages, we know, let's break it down. The alphabet, okay, we, we, we yeah, the alphabet, let's not even go there. Let's start with the word of God. We take a word. We don't start with letters, okay? We don't start with letters. We take a word from God. He gives us a word. Okay, then... Uh, the Spirit of God gives us a sentence. Okay. And in the sentence, we, we keep building our sentence and it forms a paragraph. And a paragraph will form a page. And a page will uh, be, it'll become a sermon. And the sermon is what the preacher preaches. Okay. But these Goyak outside, the Judas outside, honking, 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 Satan the deceiver, he tricks them and this and that. Okay. And I do my best to help you guys out. But that's not a Kohelet, brothers and sisters. The Goyak Judas outside who works for money and shekels to deceive his own Mayanasha people. A sellout. A sellout to lead all the children astray. A sellout going to the pit of hell with the beast. They don't know about this. What, what does the king do? Adonai, Dudadam, Malek Shalom, Yeshua, Shene Shalom. Okay, Migdol Shlomo, Luke 11, Kohelet, Ki Sheba Kachal, Besheba Adama Zearetz. I'm a preacher, a king, a prophet, and a priest to the seven churches in the seven lands of the earth. Honk, 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 Goyuk, shut your horn. You play around with letters. You don't know nothing about this. We're preaching sermons. Somebody say sermon. Boys and girls, sermon. Let's go get it. Come on, boys and girls. Welcome to the church. Welcome to the church, boys and girls, where we don't preach letters. We preach sermons. Okay. A subject. Boys and girls. Uh, what subject do you take in school, boys and girls? Do you take biology? Uh, for junior high, so in, uh, in our day it was junior high. In junior high we took um, biology. We took pre-algebra, algebra, and algebra 2 in high school. And geometry in high school, algebra 2. And these are called subjects. We took metal shop. We took wood shop. We did uh, history. Right? Okay. So, we did English, of course. Shout out, to, oh, shout out to all the teachers. Shout out to all the teachers for those who love God. And we're going to, we're going to use that. Okay. So, um, because I had a lot, I had some good teachers. So, shout out to all the good teachers in school. And if there's any left. Yeah, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a lot of good teachers left um, that we could use. So, um. Subjects, boys and girls. Uh, a religious moral subject, especially one being given during a church service. Okay, so uh, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a sermon. Okay, a sermon. It's it's the it's the teaching. It's the subject. The sermon. Okay, Sharmaon, uh, Sharmaon, and <laughs> Barsadik Malik Shalom Sharmaon, I guess. He preaches a sermon with the Shemenya, uh, the Ruach Kodesh anointing. 
Melek Mashiach Yeshaya Ar Sarah David Adamani Katan Yeshi Moshi E Elohi Yeshaya and shout out to Alexis Aviana Red Hairs the greatest princess. Okay, boys and girls. Kohelet A collector of sentences. And so he will preach the sentences. The preacher will preach the words. The preacher will preach the sentences. It will form a paragraph. Okay. Uh, let's go to the Bible so we can just look at it. Oh, we are in the Bible. Let's go to another tab. Uh, Psalm 23. Okay. So Psalm 23 is a page. And it's a short page. So it's called, it's like a, it's a paragraph page. Okay. It's both. So here's a paragraph and a page of the Bible. Right? So what do we preach? We preach sermons. Okay, and you got some Judas outside trying to deceive his own mind people, and all the little boys and girls. He's trying to he's trying to lead everyone to witchcraft, Satan, and rit satanic rituals and evil. All that that consists of everything Satan everything Satanism consists of. Uh, they're outside honking, waiting to lead us to hell. But we don't go that way. We just say you want to be cursed. You can curse yourself to hell. We're going this way. And the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord leads me. I shall not want. He makes me lie down. And who is this? Uh, King David, the father of Solomon. This is King David who also preached sermons. His Solomon, his son, is the Kohelet. And I am a second Solomon, greater than Solomon. Luke 11, Megdol Shlomo, in Kohelet. Because I don't turn away from God for the sake of to go run running towards girls i don't go running towards god bless your souls but i don't go running towards anything else but god because i have to wait and we go this way the shepherd leads us okay the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me who leads us? Who leads us? The Lord. Okay, we don't follow. We don't follow any letter. We don't follow the letter name. Okay, we preach sermons, and within the sermons we got it. Okay. So it's there. It's the synagogue of Satan against us. Ezekiel 38, verse 4, 1 through 4. Psalm 23, 1. Mizmor, mi melech David, abi melech shalom, o kohelet, el Yahova, Yahova, Yeshua, Moshiach, Ruach HaKodesh, ro'i lo exar, lo exar, in be not Desha eh, Naa Dasha Erabats eh, Yabiseni Al Maya eh, Manuha eh, Nahal eh, Yenahaleni. Okay, he leads me out to green pastures, and he says, He makes me lie down in the green pastures. And I am beside waters in my resting place. Manuach. I am in my quiet resting place. He has lead, he has led me there. Okay. Nafshi Yoshebeb Shub Nacha Yan Heni Bi Mageli Sedek Lemaan Shemo. Okay. My soul, he has returned my soul. He restores my soul. And he leads me in the paths of righteousness for the sake of his names. Okay. So that's what we're worshiping, the names of God. Okay. And that's the difference between us and them. And that's the sermon. That's the sermon every day. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's voodoo coming in on all sides right about now. Uh, the the letter the letter lovers are throwing witchcraft 
uh, that's not it. That's why you're going to hell. Uh, for all those throwing witchcraft all around, uh, yeah, I can feel it. I feel jittery. I can see my throat. Uh, you're going to hell because you're a witch, Satanist. Okay, so for all those throwing voodoo around here, uh, playing with letters, we just said we don't do that and we don't do witchcraft. So have fun down there in the lake of fire with the dragon, the serpent, Satan, and the beast. Um, my soul, he has returned to me. He has restored my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness, not witchcraft, uh, not throwing voodoo in the windows. For the sake of his name, because his name's holy, he's not going to lead me into Satanism and witchcraft and satanic rituals and stalking Christians. As to steal away the kingdom, uh, Satan, Satan cannot deceive me. Uh, you're going to hell, which is a Satanist around me. Okay. Gamki elek bege salmawets lo ira raki ata imadi shipteka shebeteka wenishanteka u mishanteka in hema yenachamuni in hem ye even though I am walking in the valley and there is the shadow of death around me uh, there's witches and sorcerers around me I'm surrounded by Satanists and Goyim unbelievers they're trying to deceive us we are Mayans we are we are in the valley of the shadow of killers and murderers and Satanists and they're trying to deceive us with witchcraft voodoo in the windows and they're honking their horns outside and they're harassing us we're surrounded by death on all sides I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death, surrounded by murderers in the valley. On all sides, we are surrounded. They have surrounded the church. They have mobbed it. But nevertheless, we keep walking in the word of God because the word of God is a light to our path and is a lamp for our feet. And we fear not their evil witchcraft. Don't fear their evil witchcraft. It only leads to calamity. It is doom. Okay. It leads them to destruction. Those who are doing witchcraft around us, trying to deceive us and with letters, they're going to hell. How do you figure that you're holy throwing witchcraft at me when, when you're a witch? Because of letters? Okay. Uh, so that's, that's not a sermon. That's called Satan playing with letters. Uh, so we walk through this valley of the shadow of death of these witches and sorcerers and Satanist murderers. We fear not the evil of Satan, mob, and the beast, because Ata Elohim stands with me, Yamadi. He stands with me, Aman. His rod is with me. Shebet, Shebetika, Yamadi, Adam Aman Duranon. I am a pillar standing in the name of the Lord. For the name of God, I stand for the name of God. I stand for the name of the Lord. That's the difference. Right here. Sedek le ma'an shemo shemeka Yehova. Sedek le ma'an shemo Yehova Yeshua Ruha Kodesh Eloha for the sake of his name. His name is love and doom. His name is salvation, savior for his people. His name is Holy Spirit. I am set apart from witchcraft. I do not do it. I'm set apart from Satan rituals. I don't do it. I'm set apart to preach sermons. Uh, I, I can use A through Z. Uh, I'm a preacher of the sermons. I preach, I preach hours. I preach pages. I write pages. I write paragraphs. I am beyond letters. I'm in the word of God. I'm in, I'm in Elohim. We're beyond that. Okay. Uh, the church knows. The Goyim, they don't know. The Goyim, uh, I go outside every day and they don't tell me nothing. And all, when I'm doing this, they start click, 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 click their little horn. <laughs> Listen, uh, what does that mean? Honk, honk, honk. What does that mean? It doesn't mean nothing. What does that mean? I know what witchcraft Satanism is. Hong Hong Hong, what is that? Listen, I'm preaching. 
I'm preaching sermons. What is that? You can't preach no sermon. So, sh sh so stop. Just stop it, okay? You're not preaching no sermons. And you're misleading the whole world. To, you, you, you had the flocks. We took them. You had the whole world in your hand. Now I got it. So honk at your face. Honk at yourself. Okay? Nafshi Yoshebeb. Yoshebu. Okay. Yoshubu. He restored our souls. Okay. Yahowa, Yeshua Rohakodesh, Shub, Nafshenu. Okay, Nefesh. Lanu. He restored our souls. Praise God. He is restoring us. You see, you feel that? No Hong Kong Kong could get us. No no honk of the Goya could get us. We are Mayanasha Judah. We're holy breeders. We're gonna go breed from here. We don't got time for that. We don't got time to play with letters. Jesus could be coming right now. We don't got time to be playing with letters. Jesus is coming. He's restoring our soul. He's leading us in the path of righteousness and vindication. Not honk 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 torment. Honk 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 torturing children. Honk 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 you, you torture and scare the kids. No. We're going in the Sedek Yahweh. Sedek Yeshua Rohakodes. Sedek Lema'an Shemo. Yahweh Yahweh Sikinu. Yeshua HaMashiach Gualenu. Ruach HaKodesh Elohenu. Shemo. That's his name. Honk 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 of the beast. That's Hashatan. Sheke. You go to hell forever. You don't know what you're doing. Okay. All right. Okay. So we go in the way of righteousness. We go in the way of holiness to God. And we go to His names. Okay. Uh, for all those for all those against this uh, heavenly kingdom business, that's just a Nephilim. Um, it doesn't matter what their name what their name was, they don't have a name no more. Uh, they forfeit their name. And when they sold their soul to Satan. They sold their name to they they gave up their name. Okay, so uh, don't let nobody deceive you with letters. Don't let no one deceive you. And they're Satanists, and they're a Nephilim. That's it. They don't have a name, other than uh, other than a Shaker deceiver, a liar. Okay. And though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and darkness of Satan and sorcery and witchcraft and threats we shall fear not the evil okay fear not the beast because God you are with us in God his rod is with me his rod is with me his staff is with me and he comforts me he brings comfort to us right and is this not a comforting word this is a comforting sermon. This comforts people. Honk, 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 and voodoo. It gets people scared. It makes people mind controlled. That scares the children. It scares everybody. As for uh, Satanists to take over something that they can't even touch it. Okay, and that's not the case. I got it, and I can feel the glory upon it. I can feel glory upon the world. I got it, and I can feel the presence, holy glory in the air. I can see it. I can feel it. I can see nothing but white glory in front of my face and pouring out from within my soul. I feel nothing but the white glory of God. Okay. Kabod Anan. In Kabod. In Kabodo. Bipana Yehoah Yeshua Roh Okay. Durada. Adonai Dor Kabod. Laban Kabodo. Yahweh Yeshua Roha Kodesh. I can feel white glory. I can see it. It's done. On oh, this one right here. So we got to get back to Psalm 23 5 on Facebook. 
Okay, so let me show you what this is. Uh, back to Psalm 23.5. Okay, so those against us, honkers outside, voodoo in the window, and liars, and deceivers, and making God's daughters evil, okay, corruptors of God's daughters, corruptors of this generation, God has prepared a table of battle for the future, just like he said, just like we read in Ezekiel 38, 1 through 4, and God leads them out by the nose to battle just to be annihilated. Okay. It's like this. Just like this. Uh, I gotta update this. Uh, the grease that he took away was uh, I used to wake up with um, voodoo grease on my head and uh, I take it away okay that's what that was okay and Dishanta and Dashen and Bishem Shemenya Yeshua Roh HaKodesh HaMashiach Roshi and Kosi Rewa Yah It says He has arranged okay. God has set before my presence I can see a vision Okay, I see a vision Let me get this Let me get this picture real quick 